Sí. So, today is a three? No. Day two. <laughs> so today is day two. What are we gonna do? Uh, first, we're gonna have breakfast because we just woke up. Right? And the first thing we're gonna do is get you down from this amazing place. Just what, right what down. What are we gonna street. get? What are we gonna get? Yo Kiao. Yes, good. Yay, I said it right. So we're gonna get Yo Kiao. And then we are gonna go to Wilbeck to have coffee. Again, again. Uh, again, yeah. And then maybe on the way we'll find this um, bakery. Uh, I think Wayne's got some bread from there last time. It was amazing. But he doesn't remember. But we'll try to find it and then we are off to Yang Ming Shan. That's not how you eat your tail, Babu. Oh. Okay, sorry. You must break it apart? Yeah, you must break it apart. So do you know why it's like a butterfly? It's like two types. Why? So are you going to dip it in the soil? Right? No. It's like you're supposed to share with your lover or with your family or your relative. It's like a family thing. Oh. You split the two and you give it to the one you love, the, your, your mom, your dad. I didn't know this. That's, that's interesting. The cafe that got me started drinking black coffee. Before that, I used to think all black coffee tastes like dirt. Dirt water. But with that, it changed my mind. Kind of. And then I started drinking a lot of black coffee. Same for me. Same for me. I took the banana coffee that day this time. Excuse me, the best is the house blend. House blend is the best. It's the best. Yeah, it's the best. We couldn't find the bakery we were looking for, so we just went to this bakery which was on the way and picked up some bread for our hike. Ah. So we are getting ready to go to Yang Ming Shan. Someone took so long. The frick? You are the one who woke up late. I woke up late. Someone, I was like, oh, wake up, wake up. She was like, mm. But I woke up as soon as possible. <sighs> like, usually I, wake, I still take an hour or half an hour when you wake me up. And now I've been Six waiting for hour. 10 minutes. I've been waiting for 10 minutes. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're not. She even asked me to bend down <coughs> and tie her shoe for her. Okay, thank God you completed that sentence. <laughs> I don't know what that logic was. Because Google Maps said, come here. <laughs> I one thing, what happened to the queue? Huh? The queue just disappeared because there's a bus R5. Uh, that, there's goes, no more queue. That, that goes to Yang Ming Shan, but, but no our route is a bit different. So there's um, no more queue now? Yeah, there's no more queue. But I'm hoping it doesn't come like bus is not occupied because it comes from Taipei Main Station and I feel like it will be occupied. Let's just hope it's not because we'll have to stand for 40 minutes. Yes. Initially, we intended to take bus 1717 which goes directly to our destination but the next bus was in an hour so we boarded bus R5 and alighted at MTC Yang Ming Shan bus stop to catch a shuttle bus number 108 that would take us to Xiaoyu Kang. But we missed one of the bus 108. We are at uh, Yang Ming Shan bus stop. We actually were at MTC Yang Ming Shan bus stop. But now, uh, because Vince was in the washroom, we missed the 108. So now we are waiting for 1717. It comes in five minutes, it says. So we're just waiting for the bus. Oh, 
we are traveling to uh, Xiao Yuking um, service center so that we can start our trail from there. Hopefully we don't miss this one because again Vince has gone inside um, 7-Eleven. So I hope we don't miss us. <laughs> Xiao Yu King uh, service center. Yeah. And we plan to um, take this trail. We plan to climb the. Um, I hope I pronounced it right. Kishing Peak? The Mount, Mount Kishing Peak. And of Which course. Trail. Don't forget your makeup. Fashion up, makeup. Do you mean that I am looking ugly right now and I need to touch no, up? I just said oh, that's so rude! Ah, no. okay. Check that out. I don't know if that's a hot spring or it's just sulfur. I, I'm not no, sure. Oh, okay. Mm. So pretty. What time is it? So the time is 1.36 and I think we should start our trail now. Yeah, we should start now. It's a bit late. <laughs> Not my fault. So that is actually a sulfur gas eruption. Um, I think you can go down and check it. But right now we are at the um, visitor center. So this is the entire map and all the information. And we have to go here, right? Huh? The spelling is different here. Spelling There's no Q. Yeah, so that's the nearest one. So we have to go here. Uh, see yeah. Sing. We have Shari King Service Center. Yeah. Sing King Main Peak. Probably East Peak or one of these, whatever it is. So, and then the idea is that we go to Meng Huang Pond. Yeah. And we finish by Leng Shui King. And I think around here there's some hot spring that we can finish the day with. Oh. Good of course, I planned it. So the service center is pretty cool. It will give you a lot of information about the area's ecology and all the um, igneous rocks that you would find. Uh, so yeah, right now we are at the back of the visitor center and it's, the view is pretty amazing. And yeah, oh my god, there's a cute dog! We are checking out the sulfur eruption place and the view here is amazing it's pretty chilly i know you guys must be bored just looking at my face when you should be looking at this amazing view the view next to the sulfur fuma roll is amazing and the broad walkways makes it easy to witness the spectacular mountain range you can also see the sulfur fuma rolls up close but still within a safe distance i don't know why but this scares me actually <laughs> the smell of the sulfur is very strong so, are we even supposed to inhale it? I don't know. Oh, if it's answered, they would have said it. Yeah. It smells like rotten egg, like very bad rotten egg, like, oh, like yeah. one and a half. That's true. That's why I, I felt like it smelled familiar. Yes, the smell around here is pretty strong, so be ready to feel nauseated or just be prepared with a mask. And needless to say, do not touch the sulfur hot spring as they are extremely hot. So, after taking plenty of a rotten egg smell, we thought there was fail. But someone is hungry. Yeah, because the rotten egg reminds me of eggs and now I'm hungry. Do you like rotten eggs, is it? No, that's what I said. The, the thought of rotten eggs reminded me of eggs. And that's why I am hungry. Peak is really something. Uh, I think I need to work out more, gain some stamina. But already the view is amazing. Depending on how much you have worked out, how much breaks you take, how slow you are, 
The trail from Shayu King should take approximately an hour to reach the main gate. This is the first observation deck or a rest stop if you will, where we decided to have a lunch break. We have more 1.6 kilometers to go. One kilometer. Oh, the sun is out. That's a good thing because right now I was feeling a bit um, cold. And I was thinking, should I wear my coat? But I think it's okay. The sun is out. But yeah, sorry. Wow. Anyways, now we are going to continue with our trailer. Okay, so help. let me hold it, please. On topic, a huge gimbal. I don't know how he carries this around. I am a strong man. I am a strong man. It's not going in. So 1 km more and we will reach the peak. How long will it be? 1 km? On this trail you will also witness several sulfur fumaroles. So yes, you will get a whiff of the amazing rottenneck smell from time to time. Grass and bamboo is a major plant form here. So you will notice that the vegetation here is pressed downwards and that is because of the strong northeastern monsoon winds which also forces the tree crowns here to grow in a rounded shape as if it's trimmed. This is the second observation deck and honestly I thought we had reached the peak but yep, was disappointed to know that there's more 600 meters to go. When the weather is clear, this platform offers a bird's eye view of Taipei City. So you'll be able to see Zhongzheng District where we are staying, Shilin, Tamsui River, and also Beitou. So if you see here, around there, this is mm -hmm. Beitou. On the left side, around there, that's Shilin. So this is Beitou and that is Shilin? Yeah. Wow. So we still have 600 meters to go before the peak. That will take us, I think, half an hour, I guess. Point two kilometers. Point two kilometers left. Woohoo! After the peak. What do you have to do? Have to go down. And we have to go down the other way. <laughs> you okay? Didn't see I didn't see that the, cam the camera didn't see anything. No, so on the other way should be about two, three hours to go down normally. What? Yeah. We'll be almost there. After an hour of huffing and puffing, we finally reached Mount Chi Xing's main peak. The trails are well constructed and the great thing is that there are trail posts that show how far you are from the trail destination, observation decks that also serve as rest stop, signboards that direct you to other places, and display panels that provides hikers information about the trails, the Chi Xing mountain and its ecology. So we were at the peak. Yeah. Now we're going down from the other side of the peak. When we came, it said that it was 18C, but I don't know why it feels like it's 15 or 14 because this reminds me of the time when I was in Paris and I was freezing just like this. We are here. We have to go to the east peak, which is 0.15 kilometers. And we're actually go uh, gonna aim. For this one, right? Leng Shui King. Yeah. I think the mountain is called Qi Xing. Because if Qi you Xing. see on this board, when they check the Chinese character, yeah, uh, it's, it's a seven. Oh. And seven in Mandarin is uh, Qi. Oh, it's Qi Xing. Qi Xing. Oh, so. My Mandarin is not like 
Yeah, words. his Mandarin is not great, but he still understands um, some words. Enough, uh, no, a few, enough, few, no, a few things. So apparently, some of the mountains here they were like uh, divided, and I think some of uh, the early pioneers cut through uh, these mountains, created trails, and that helped uh, in. I think that helped in opening up Taipei's. Um, markets to fish, farm, and handicraft products. So that's awesome. So Yang Ming Shan is basically a backyard of Taipei. He is currently taking a um, time lapse of the sunset. I mean, I don't know if you can see properly, but it looks like an egg yolk. And there are so many flies here. It is super annoying. Like, Oh my god! Okay, so look here. Oh my god, see? Like a lot of flies. And it's very annoying. <laughs> this is a new way of um, getting rid of insects. You don't need insect repellent, you just have to dance. Like a... Be careful when you open your mouth, what if it goes inside? So now we are uh, leaving um, the East Peak and I'm actually getting a bit um, scared because it's getting dark. hike down was a little scary since the sun had already set and it was getting pretty dark but we got to witness the breathtaking and twinkling cityscape that honestly the videos here are not doing any justice to what we saw. Hope you guys enjoy this video there will be a part two of this video soon so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video